Have you ever wanted to know for 100% certainty what type of file you're dealing with? Have you ever been in a case where you haven't been able to extract a file you thought you had? Well, then today I have an episode for you. Channel. Today's Mighty Mini Monday is all about the file command on Linux. Now, I used Linux for almost two years before I knew of this, and I know I'm not a system admin, I'm a developer and a software engineer, but this is super useful for anybody using a Linux, not just for system administrators. So, what is it? It is literally file. So, if you type file dash h, Oh, H, um, or you can do file help to see the whole help command. This is the file. This is the command we're talking about file. All right. So it's a very simple uh, command, and I have come up with a couple files here. We can list them. You'll notice that they all have txt as the file extension. So, you know, we basically don't know what they are. But uh, all of them's names are what they are. So when you see php.txt, that is a PHP file. When you see html.txt, that is an HTML file. But we don't know that. All of their um, extensions are wrong and incorrect. So um, let's, for example, let's take this yaml.txt. If we want to look at it, we can open it up in Vim and see that it is a YAML file, and that's all well and good. But if we then try to look at, let's see, this tar, uh, I, I can't really tell by looking at this what it is. You might have guesses that this is a text file, and there's some other things we could do to examine this, but it's not very evident as to exactly what this is. It could be a couple of things. This would be the same as if you opened a picture file or something like that. It, Vim is going to try to interpret it, and it does a pretty bad job. And this is where file comes in. We can type file tar.txt, and it's going to tell us that it's a gzipped compressed data from Unix, original size of the module. So the file is telling us that it's a gzip and, and it knows what it is. So the next time you curl something and you thought you curled a file, but you accidentally got the web page because there was an authentication error or something like that, and really you have a bunch of HTML, uh, it, and you can save yourself some time by just running file on the um, file and seeing what it actually is. Um, but let's go ahead and run through some more of these. Uh, let's go ahead and do file on the HTML. You can see it already knows it's an HTML document. And this is all it is. I copied that off the internet somewhere. So this is the file command and it does three basic tests. The first is a file system test, and this test basically tests if the file is empty or if it's a special type of file um, that's like linking to another location. So uh, this is what it's doing. It's just asking the file system if it's one of those special Linux files. If it doesn't, it goes on to the magic test. The magic test is a file, and we can actually write our own. If you look here, I have already written my magic file. And what this does is the magic file um, tests for certain strings and certain things. Uh, you can look up the man pages. And if you look up the man pages, you can find out exactly how to write it. But let's look at the one I've written. All right, so my magic is uh, this is the location to start. So you could actually say to start. So like, let's say you wanted to look for um, I think really good ones would be like movie encoding. So usually when you're doing like MP4s or whatnot, they have the headings and you could check for certain frame data in that heading. In this one, we're saying start from the very beginning. This is the initial location. What type of thing we're looking for is regex. Regex, I want 
recommend in a production environment because these can be slow and hard to test that they're fast. This is the regex and then this is testing for Windows INI configuration, something that wouldn't exist on Linux naturally. Um, and then it's a text INI. So let's go here and I have an INI. Uh, so yeah, this is just a INI file. And what we can do, we let's run, um, let's run file without it. So we can do file, INI text, and it's going to say, well, it's an ANSI text file. That's all it knows about it. But if we use our ours, we can do file dash m my magic uh, INI dot text. And now you can see it's using our text file to figure out that it's a Windows INI configuration file. So you can write your own and for speed, you want to compile your your um, magic file and that way it will allow it to go a little bit faster. And then the last thing that this, the the last test that this does is its language text. You, you notice that even before we gave it our new magic file, it knew that it was an anti text file. And that's what this is doing. It's doing a system language text on what type of file it is. That way, maybe if you have your encodings wrong, you can figure that out. So this is the Linux file command, and it is pretty simple and easy to get, get off the ground and start using. And by default, it supports a lot of different things. So we can do file um, PHP, and it knows that it's a PHP script. I didn't have to do anything special. I didn't have to provide a magic file for it. It just knew. Um, and this was, I, I don't know, some simple. You will never see me really write any PHP. Uh, yes, that's all it was. It's probably something looking for this here. So anyways, uh, this was my Mighty Mini Monday, and I hope that it was helpful. I hope that this helps some people get into Linux. I know that this command was really, has been really useful to me, myself. And uh, I hope that uh, you all have a fantastic rest of your week. If you are here looking for my next uh, series, it turns out I was gonna make some, you know what, that doesn't matter. Hit the subscribe button so you can see what I'm working on in the future. And, uh, if you like this video, found it useful, found it helpful, please hit the like button. That lets me know that I'm doing a good job and you're, you enjoyed it. If you didn't like this video, go ahead and hit subscribe, stick around, and see if these videos get any better for science.